Yes, hello everyone, this is your guy Devin the Geek bringing you another Flash tutorial. And in this Flash tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, in, well, not input, but um, bring an audio to the library. And not only that, I'm going to show you how to put it on your stage as well. But first off, did you guys know that um, Adobe Flash comes with a ton of sound effects? Well, CS4 that is. I don't know if the other ones do, but... um. Yeah, CS4 comes with a ton of sound effects, free sound effects that, you know, that you can get on websites that you you might be looking for. And how you get to it, you're going to come up here to Windows, you know, Window, come down here to Command Library, and you're going to click Sound. I just got rid of, rid of it, but this is how you're going to do it. Come to Windows, come to Command Library, and click Sounds. And it's going to give you a ton of free audio. And if you don't have this, then there might be something you probably got rid, rid of the files yourself or did something. But here are some interesting sounds. They have gunshots and all kinds of cool stuff. They have, um, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but let me turn up my speakers. I'm turning up my speakers now. Let's play this. People screaming. Ah! They have a ton of these things. I mean, they're really ah! Um, let's see, uh, there are some cool ones I've seen. That's always cool to have. They have gun cocky noise. The cock. <laughs> dry fire. That's when you dry fire a gun, handgun. 9mm machine gun. Wow, that's really, that's, wow. I mean, I, I'm surprised they even have this in here. But yeah, okay, that's that's what they have. If you have the program, go check them out yourself. And, you know, I mean, there's a ton of cool sounds in here. I believe they had some, like, explosion ones. I want to, okay, here, here's one. Let's play it. I mean, yeah, that's like some, some Hollywood-sounding stuff right there. Okay, the way you import audio um, into the library is you're going to have to go into file, come down into come down to import to library, come down to import to library right here. And then I'm going to choose this. I believe I do have this in my library already because this is another take that I'm doing over. So I want this audio right here to be imported into my library. And yeah, it's already in here, so don't worry. That's my computer. And so if you don't have your library window open, you're going to go up to Windows, Window, and come down to Library. And that will open up your libraries. And here you go. Let me get rid of that one. I'm putting it to my other side of the screen. And I'm going to work with this one. And the way, it's really easy to bring audio to your stage, you know, into your timeline. All you have to do is come up here, click the um, frame right there. And come over here, hold down your audio, and drag it to your stage right here, and let go. And as you can see, it just put it in or right up here. That's loud, but um, you get what I'm talking about. So if your audio sometimes isn't long enough, the um, timeline, all you have to do is come right here, click it, and then click it again, but hold it and pull it until you, you know, you got it all the way out that you need it, you know, the um, length that you need. And there you go. I got it to the length that I needed. And you can, you know, cut off those frames if you don't need it back there. So yeah, that's how you bring audio into the Last but not least, the repeating audio issue. To fix this issue, you're going to want to come up over here to your audio. Click it. Make sure it's, you know, uh, you know, just click it anywhere. And go to your properties. And if you don't have your properties open, your um, properties window, go to window and check properties. And that will bring up your window. And it should look something like this. You will want to come down here to sync. And you're going to put it to stream. And there you go. You just fix the looping problem. By doing that, 
that will just stop it from looping all the time it, and there you go you just fix the audio problem and you can set it to repeat as many times as you want I mean you just mess with that here you can put it up to me how many times so yeah this has been your guy Devin the Geek please comment rate and subscribe and I'm gonna have more tutorials and videos I might make some more cartoons or something so chill peace I'm out